The remote start operating range is approximately 200 feet from the vehicle. For remote start to function, the car must be in park with the ignition off and all doors must be closed and locked. Laws in some communities and states may restrict or forbid the use of remote starters or require a person using remote start to have the vehicle in view. Check local regulations for any requirements. To start the vehicle remotely, press the lock button on the key fob. Then, within five seconds, press and hold the engine start button for at least two seconds. The engine will start, the parking lights will turn on, and the automatic heater and air conditioning system will begin heating or cooling the vehicle, depending on the outside temperature, the in-car temperature, and the last user mode. During this period, the heater and air conditioning display and buttons will not operate until the ignition switch is turned on. The engine will run for 10 minutes and then turn off. To extend the time for one additional 10-minute period, press the lock button on the key fob, then press and hold the engine start button for at least two seconds. Run time will be calculated as follows. The first 10-minute run time will start when the remote start function is performed. The 10-minute extension will start immediately after the remote start function is performed a second time. For example, if the engine has been running for five minutes and you extend the remote engine start, the engine will run for a total of 15 minutes. Press and release the engine start button on the key fob at any time to cancel the remote engine start. After two remote starts, the ignition switch must be cycled from on to off before remote start can be used again. To start driving after using remote start, apply the brake pedal and press the ignition switch. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating and feature information.